Okay, English 11, here's your assignment for this week. Keeping it a little simple, we're going to stick with The Great Gatsby for now. We will be using your textbook next week, but for now you just want to stick with The Great Gatsby. And you've got a few things. First, finish reading The Great Gatsby and work on your reading journals. I'm not collecting them now, and as for now, I will not be collecting them until we get back after spring break, God willing. If anything changes, I may require you to submit photos of your work. But as for right now, you're going to keep it, but you need to do the reading journals as the way we've prescribed in class. Second thing you're going to do is you are going to work on two persuasion maps for The Great Gatsby. On Google Classroom, there will, the persuasion maps will be there, and I mean, you should see it now. And there will also be... Um, bring far here. There will also be the prompts. The prompts will be on there. You're going to do both of them. You do not have to write an essay, at least for now. Later on, I might have you choose one to write out as a full essay. But for now, I just want you to do the persuasion maps using your textbook, using your reading. That's saying use your journals. They're, the due date right now will be up in the air. More than likely, at least for now, I will require that you... Uh, at least have gotten some work done by Friday. I will be able to check. I'm not saying your persuasion map has to be done, but your persuasion maps cannot be empty. In fact, I'll, I'll make that standard now. Your persuasion maps have to have something on it by Friday. And more than just, Great Gatsby, come on. Um, but they will not be due, done by Friday. Other things, there's also a little form on there. I want you to complete the form, uh, just that you checked in that you saw this video. I want you to mark to make sure you watch the whole video. Who died in the car accident in The Great Act Gatsby? Who was the person that was killed in the car accident? And there's also at the end a place where if you have any questions, feel free to put them there. I'm leaving the form submittable, so if you need to go, or you can re-edit it, so if you need to go back and you want to ask a question, feel free to do that. That's one way of doing it. I would more likely email me. Uh, also, I will soon have more information about having virtual office hours where you will meet with me on Google Meet or some other aspect and then you can log in there and we can have a, a virtual face-to-face -face conversation. If you have any questions till now, guys, write a comment on this post on Google Classroom, send me an email, and we'll go from there. But that's your work for English 11 for this week. Not too bad. Okay, bye.